Hi there. In this video we're going to take a look at how to draw cumulative frequency diagrams. And in a later video I'll show you how we can interpret the cumulative frequency diagram. Okay, so let's start out with an example. So we've got the check-in times for a number of people traveling through an airport. And from the table we can see that uh, four people were between 0 and 10 minutes, 12 people between 10 and 20 minutes, 28 people between 20 and 30 minutes, etc., etc. So in order to draw the cumulative frequency diagram, the first thing I'm going to do is to add another column because I need to work out what the cumulative frequency is. So if I add this column in for cumulative frequency, now the cumulative frequency is essentially a running total starting from the lowest times all the way up to the highest times. So the number of people at the beginning is 4. So whatever we have here in this column always goes here. And to get the next part, what I do is I add the 4 to the 12 to keep the running total. So 4 and 12 is 16. And continuing with the same idea all the way along, 16 and 28 gives me 44. 44 and 32 gives me 76. Uh, add 29 to that and we get 105 and adding the 105 to the 15 I get 120 so in order to make sure that I've done this correctly what I should do is add up the total frequency and adding all of this up we get also 120 if this number here matches this number here I can be sure that I've added these correctly. Now, what does this mean? So, that's just confirmation of our uh, answers. And we can also see here, I, I've said that cumulative frequency diagrams are sometimes called less than graphs. So, I'll just explain now, when I draw the cumulative frequency curve, or sorry, cumulative frequency diagram, why they're called less than graphs. So, Here's our data again, and I want to plot this as a cumulative frequency diagram. Now, in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to need two pieces of information from each row. I'm going to need the upper bound of the class interval and the cumulative frequency. So we're going to take the upper bound from each one and plot that against the cumulative frequency. So, if we go to the first one, uh, at 10 minutes we should have a cumulative frequency of 4 so going to 10 minutes I'm going to go up as far as 4 which is just there put a little mark at 20 minutes we had 16 20 minutes we have 16 at 30 minutes we had 44 um, 10 20 30 40 and 4 40 minutes we had 76, so going up to 50, 60, 70, 6 there. 50 minutes we have 105, which is there. And 60 minutes we have 120, so coming up to here. And now the next thing that we're going to do is actually connect these dots using nice straight lines. Now you can do it using a curve. Um, I find it just as helpful to do it using straight lines. It's perfectly okay for exams. So connect them up using straight lines, each dot individually, and you'll end up with something like that. Now, as I said earlier, it's sometimes known as a less than graph, and I will I will um, explain how to interpret it, but it. In a, in a later video, but if we quickly look at it, suppose I wanted to know how many people were less than 45 minutes, I would go to 45 minutes, draw a line up where it hits the graph and across, I would say that roughly, I don't know, 89 or 90 people roughly, say 89 people, 89 people were less than 45 minutes. Um, and that's essentially how you draw the cumulative frequency diagram. I will make another video on how to interpret it later. Um, so why don't you have a go? 
So there's a question there. Um, see if you can draw the cumulative frequency diagram for these check-in times. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that, and here is the solution. Alright, that's all from me. Hopefully you found the video useful. Best of luck with the revision, and I'll talk to you again sometime.